Hey everyone, Sir Termo here again. And today I'm bringing you another Seraphine deck, and this time it's going to be Solos, I mean Seraphine and Victor together. This time playing Shadow Owls instead of instead of Targon, like we showcased a few days ago. So this deck is playing like a bit more of a control variation on Seraphine by playing the Shadow Owl tools such as Vengeance, right? Vile Feast, Unspeakable Horror, and Quietus. Quietus is really really good in this meta because he can hit all the opponent's Seraphines, which makes us really favorable into any Seraphine mirrors. The rest of the deck is just kind of built around the PNC package itself, obviously with the triple back alley barkeep, which you all probably already annoyed by with all the decks, like the, all the games he probably lost to Aaron Yee on between the barkeep and Seraphine. Honestly, this Seraphine's package with Seraphine and triple barkeep, uh, bar, back alley bar, all feel a little bit toxic. I think the fact that you can just randomly generate cards from any region is really, really annoying, right? So let's 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 discuss the breakdown of this deck. So I like playing two Telstons, uh, two built up Intestons with a potential draw if we kind of feel ourselves running out of resources, or the Aftershock, right? Obviously, you can play this when you have a leveled up uh, Seraphine on, on, your, on your field and then copy the Aftershock, or this counts as two spells to a Seraphine level up, which is why it's really amazing. Acorn, really nice, can discount our Vengeance or our Drum Solo, which are both, or the Sun Spinter, uh, the Sun Spinter, which are both really nice. Quietus, I've talked about it really for all the, all the Seraphines that you run into out there. Phineasia, just for the value. High Note, just nice, just like a different Mystic Shot that comes as a new card. So two Mystic, two High Notes is the breakdown I'm going to go for. Triple Seraphine, one Time Trick, two Trail of Evidence to actually try to level up Seraphine as, as soon as we can. Sometimes you get a spell out of this, sometimes you just get another unit. Regardless, you kind of get a lot of value from being able to do this, uh, and also lets you progress the level up in the victim. Unspeakable Horror and Battle Feast lets us have a lot of a lot of like lifesteal uh, that we can deal with the opponent and be able to kind of ping their units, as well as Unspeakable Horror also giving us access to a Nightfall card. One Flash of Brilliance can be pretty cheeky, with Seraphine, if you have Flash of Brilliance and you have a back alley Barky, then the Flash of Brilliance is cost zero, uh, cost two, sorry, which means that you get to play it twice with Seraphine and get two random six cost plus spells, which are really good in both Shadow House and PNC. Fan Club Precedent, straightforward there. Victor is another one of our main win conditions. Victor can get really big with this deck uh, because of how many creative cards we play. Drum Solo, just for the draws. Once a Percival, just as an elusive alternate win condition as soon as you draw. Triple Back Alley Bar carries this deck. Back Alley Bar is gonna get nerfed, in my opinion. This card is absolutely nuts. So yeah, Double Vengeance for the Control Tool and Sun Spinner, just really nice way to turbo level the uh, turbo turbo level the Seraphine because of all the new cards that you get here. So this is a uh, this is pretty pretty nice deck. This deck is amazing, to be honest. And it feels pretty, really good against most of the things in the meta. But like any other Shadow Out Control deck, it can be a little bit vulnerable to stuff like the Masia deck. So just be careful of that. But just play as a control deck, get it to your late game with Victor or Seraphine, and then just win the game. As you see in some of the games today. Uh, only showing four games today because each of the games was pretty long. So hopefully you're able to learn enough from there. And apologize for all the Seraphine mirrors. That's all, all that I kept running into today. Just different variations of Seraphine. So. Enjoy the games coming up soon, and if you do, make sure to like this video below and subscribe to us. We post LR videos every single day. See you at the end of the video for some mulligan tips. In this matchup, we'll be going up against Action Lee Sin. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this is gonna be a bad one. I don't think we need setup in this early. I like the Vengeance to be able to deal with the Lee Sin and always be able to threaten the Lee Sin. Especially when we're gonna discount it here to five mana. No, this is worth trading. This is worth trading this. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I'm always trading this. So I'm not playing Seraphine because the player has access to like uh the two mana spell, the Sonic Wave. So it doesn't make sense there. Right? Because they can just kill my my they can just kill her with Sonic Wave. Forcing to have the Yuuju style or the Shape Zone. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, absorb it. Great. Let's go ahead and play the first Seraphine because we have a second one. So because we have a second one, I don't care about playing the first one. 
We pass. Cool, All right. Cool. So, is it answer prayer or is it just high note? I like the high note. Just kill this action now. He's dealing two. Answer prayer can wait. We can level up Seraphine with this uh, Sun Spinner. Opponent cannot summon Lee Sin, right? Like, opponent really cannot summon Lee Sin. Let's go Trail of Evidence. That's a huge hit. That's actually such a huge hit. I like the anomaly. Cool. I don't need to I don't need to be the one. I mean I guess I could play I could play the answer prayer and just have blockers. Just play it for two mana. When it has to play Lee Sin. Oh that's you never, mind. Never, mind. never mind, never mind. Why do I think that the opponent needs to play Lee Sin when they can just do that? We have seven. Moonius Path, not bad. Weapon Hill. Kinda like the shield ball instead. Kinda like the shield ball instead. Allure. I like the draw here. We can play shield ball. Stun this guy. Shield ball might be better later though. We have... Yeah, I, I, let's go like this. I wanna make this card stronger. We can draw two either way. Cool, I you like it? I mean, shut up and fight. Ay, 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 ay. Um, I guess this is the best one, right? We draw here. That was great. Now let's really bring it. Yeah. Kicks, huh? We attack like this. Push the two damage. Do it. Play the high note. And then play the Bunius path. This this is not gonna copy because we already used it. We we already used it once when we did it earlier. Nailed that one. We kill something, so now we can do Bunius path, draw two, and also heal for four. And we still have access to vengeance next turn. But I guess we're losing to. The deny, but the opponent has to commit the deny, right? To kind of make this worth it. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I'm passing. I want to see this Lee Sin come down before I tap out of vengeance. Uh, wow. I'm cool with that. I'm absolutely cool with that. Now we have a stun too. Extend your senses. Alright, you better have your deny here. That's gonna be deny number one. Oh, okay, okay, they're gonna recall Seraphine, right? Yeah. They recall Seraphine. So we don't get the Seraphine copies anymore. We burn a car, which I don't really care. Yep, I don't care about Quatches. Plays the Lee Sin. We play the second Vengeance. Forcing to have the Deny. Plays the second Recall. So we're gonna have to go Unspeakable Horror. Right? So we're gonna Unspeakable Horror here. Allow me to kill the action. Lee still stays alive. That's my second vengeance. And so now we're actually in a little bit of trouble. I guess we have the stuns here later. We can play Seraphine and then have access to the back alley bar. That's a good draw. We burn another car. Second Seraphine. I'm kind of okay with that, maybe. I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay burning the random car that we generate here. Yourself, 
This is tough, right? No, that's not true. This should work, right? We go after shot. He copies twice. And we have high note to block the barrier. So we have the high note to block the barrier. But we don't have... Ah! He gets two. Wow. He also levels up, right? So he gets to keep the Lee Sin alive. And we lost the second aftershot, which would have allowed me to potentially kill him. That's unfortunate. And it's a little bit unfortunate. Um. All right. Opponent can draw or put spell shield on the champion. What, what do we think he's going to pick? We're now we're close to actually winning. Okay, so they're going to draw, which makes sense. They draw again. They have Now they have a full hand one more time. That's a, that's a hand. That's a hand if I ever seen one. Let's start putting pressure. Let's start putting pressure. We have the Pell Cascade. This lets me attack for seven. If opponent blocks, then obviously we Pell Cascade. They cannot block with Lee Sin. Their cards are discounted one, but they still have zero mana. So, we go down to 9. I think it's fine to do the Pell Cascade right here, to be honest. I think I like go. I, th I think I like digging for answers. I need to dig for an answer here because I don't think the stun is going to be enough. Because the point is going to go for Absolver and just win the game with Absolver. So, the point is going to go for Absolver. Okay, well, this lets me stun it. So that we don't have to worry about it. When it cannot even deny that. So we don't even have to worry about it anymore. Also. I kind of don't want to summon. Sure. I was thinking if I wanted to actually summon this. We burn another car. Three, six, seven, ten. We have the vision. And this should be lethal. Opponent has already used. Okay, well. It goes down to one. We can draw a mystic shot or anything else, and we should be okay. Hmm. I wonder. Because I, I do have mystic shots, right? I wonder if I want to copy the drum solos. Or if I want to let Seraphine die. I mean, we have enough value in our hand that I think we can let it die. Just put the opponent at one. Alright, I guess we'll we'll keep her alive. But if we do this, we tap out of any answer for the least sin next time. So now we don't have an answer for least sin next turn. Unless we arrow something from here. Probably better to go for the fan club president first. Grasp. Oh. Guess we can go here, here. Go like this. That's still not enough. Still not enough. We will need to grasp and still find something else. 
I mean, opponent will have to get exactly 20. I guess they have the impact, so they could get it if they have the Absorber. I need an answer from this Financier. Riptide Sermon could have, could have been okay as well, but I need an answer from this Financier. One is going to actually not provide this. We still get to Lifesteal to pool. Let's look for it. That's an answer. That's an answer because even if the opponent opponent cannot like it lets us cancel the kick, right? So opponent's gonna have to have Never mind. I'm just good. I'm just such a good player. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so what I was gonna say is that I can always use atrocity, right? I can always use atrocity and just win the game. So do we do we just mini morph here? I guess we just mini morph here. Cool. If the opponent taps out of answers, we have atrocity now. We even keep the seraphim back. Then don't tap out of deny. You better not tap out of deny. You really use multiple telstones. You cannot tap out of deny. Okay, that's what I thought. I think we do I think we duplicate this. I think we duplicate in this instead. Right? I think we could easily just duplicate this instead. Play the Victor, which is level dub now. Oh wait, we we don't duplicate it because we really used it once. And he also cost three, he didn't cost two. Why did I think he was gonna duplicate? Yeah, no, it's cause it's cause it's cause it's cause it's only cost it cause it cost three. It costs three, so we cannot duplicate it. And go here. Right? We're still planning to keep looking for answers. I don't think he can stop the attack plus us having access to atrocity, right? So I think I'm gonna commit this here. Look for some stuff here. Sun Spinner is amazing. And then uh, we could replace the Financier with the Ballista. We could have replaced the Financier with the Ballista, right? But I don't think opponent has enough answers anyways, no matter what they do. To the atrocity on the back end of this attack because actually what we can do first is buff this victor enough to just win the game okay they have a second telestones they need to still stop this victor they have the will go up to wow okay they stay at one They stay at one, we play Victor. We play head score upgrade. This costs four, remember. So we can actually play the Eclipse here. Or we could go the fan club president. Try to get an answer for whatever the opponent might have. I not really play this. I not really play this, right? I'm looking for answers. Let's play this first. Let's just make space. That's the answer. Oh, wait, we can just win like this. And that's game. When it has to deny this, which is one less deny for my ballistic bot, as well as my tune for my atrocity next turn. Okay, now it's game, right? Now it's game, right? Ignition plus atrocity. Yeah, 
took me a while to get there. Obviously, that mini move just completely saved the game. I guess because like opponent could have just denied the atrocity. So if we don't get mini move there, we just lose the game. But that's the game this day. So GG's. In this match, we're going against the Highlander deck. So Aphelios, Seraphim, Victor, Zoe. And this is such a fun deck to go against because I know I played it, right? So, um, wow. I kind of want to get Victor, to be honest. I like, I, I like my hand, but I also feel like Victor is so much better. Ugh, double back alley bar. Actually, Aftershock was good. And I forgot about Acorn. Aftershock is good for the back alley bar keeps, right? I did forget about Acorn. So maybe a little bit of a oopsie by me. I got this. Inner Beast is not bad. We can give Overwhelm to this guy, right? Because now the opponent's going to have this kind of... Oh, we could have attacked. We lost one point of damage for no reason. Hmm. Yeah, we lost one point of damage for no reason. I like keeping Inner Beast back, though. Opponent has a Celestial card that we don't know about. and has a card that's been discounted by Acorn. We'll play the big door and just play it safe for now. Okay, that's 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 great, right? That lets us stop. That lets us stop there. Black Ali Bar. So that's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Falling Comet. So that's what they discounted. So the other card that they have is less than Falling Comet. All right, now you gotta deal with the second one. Oh, they have it! They have it, man! They have the thermal! No! Why? Why must you do me like this? Back alley bar, and then we have enough mana for Telstones. That's too big to gone. We can play double back alley bar. The damage kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Got Ankle of Precedent. Okay, so next time we draw one, we're going to be at 9, and when we play this, it's going to take us up to 10. So we should be okay, hand size-wise. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I'm actually struggling for board space. The opponent's trying to kind of go a little bit aggro. Yeah, because he's going to create two cards. Yep, there we go. Might of the Vanguard... Um, we are, uh, we need to level up this Seraphine. We need to level up this Seraphine. I want to keep enough mana to do the Aftershock. Aftershock costs one. We can... We can tell of evidence. We can deal one here. Right? Consider the acorn that's been giving him so much value. We can play the... Oh, Seraphine goes bye-bye. Seraphine goes bye-bye with the Sunburst, unfortunately. Ah, it's not way for us to save her. It's not way for us to save her, so we let it go. We can keep the Notch and Furbo for later. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to have a troll in my board? I feel like having a troll. I don't think. I don't know if this game is gonna go long enough for the troll to actually matter. So I think we're just gonna commit this. I just have the value. Next up we have nine and we're gonna draw two with uh drum solo. Align us to go to ten and then we play whatever cards we get. Quietus is really good because we can now kill their seraphine, right? Nope, we're not gonna let you get that value. Nice try then. Only I can have this kind of cards, not you. Only I can have these kind of cards. They're gonna just go for the random generator, huh? They're actually gonna just go for the random generator, huh? Cali Bar gives them two cards. They go up to eight. Pop throw. That elusive is kind of annoying, but not really that annoying. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go president. Uh, this is not amazing. This is not amazing. The Bolo's Breath is probably the best one. 100% now, right? We just go like this. Kills both of their units. 
and this one goes bigger. So this clears a whole board, including that soy. Yeah, that was amazing. Now what? We play drone solo. Potentially get Seraphim. Nope, we get the high note instead. Uh, do I want to play all my mana for this card? Why is it only showing one mana? Yeah, it's only spending one mana. Did I read the card wrong? Spend all your mana, but it didn't spend all my mana. Why? Why didn't you spend all my mana? Why didn't he spend all my mana? You can also always go for Flash of Brilliance. I like the Inner Beast. Just make our unit bigger. Let's go here. That way this one gets healed up. And then we go 2-2 two, two right here. Just spread it out. Now I'm looking for... I'm looking for Seraphine or Victor. So I'm gonna keep this because we can always refill 3 spell mana by having the Flash of Brilliance. Give it all. I don't really have any nice keywords. Shock Blast, Piercing Darkness to kill their champions. Piercing Darkness seems nice. Kills their champions, right? They play this pouring sunspin, right? Awesome I oh man, I have like all these cards in my hand, but not enough, nothing to do with. Okay, there's the seraphim. We play Quietus first. Let's really bring it. Yeah. Nice try. Don't have to be sharp to make a point. Boom. You have one mana, yeah, nothing to save her with. Tuskbringer. Should we go Sun Spinner here and potentially? I, I feel like Sun Spinner is better out. It's a better out for later, not for now. Oh, we get Seraphine. Opponent gets the entry from Seraphine. Are you kidding me? That's cute. That's cute. At least we get to heal back up, and then we can always play on Seraphine. Let the opponent commit all the mana that they want. We're gonna fervor. So we're gonna fervor here, right? Let's wait for them to attack. We can sacrifice a whole board. Yodel in arms. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to sacrifice a whole board anyways. So we block here. Oh, we can block here. We can block here. We block here. We block here. We fervor, deny him the lifesteal. The opponent goes down to five. So just like that, we deny the opponent's the lifesteal. We play the Seraphim. We play the Song Spinner. And we get to duplicate everything that we have in our hand. I mean, all the spells that we're getting here. When it's at five, right? When it's at five, just how much mana could they have? Four. Yeah. Uh, okay, duplicate this and go super wide next turn before we commit the other stuff. Cloud Priester is amazing, right? Let's go behold the infinite here. Let's see what we get. Traveler, Media Shower to get rid of their units, Cosmic Inspiration. Cosmic Inspiration is probably the best, right? Makes our units just so much bigger than theirs. We start here. We can play the Walking Sands. <laughs> Do I care? Do I care? I guess I kind of do. Let's go ahead and copy this. Get more spells out of this. But how's the opponent beating this Cosmic Inspiration? 
We play the Acorn, cost zero. We have this guy, can kill both blockers. She called me betrayer. She scored. <laughs> Alright, I guess we only kill one blocker. I mean, we still kill both blockers. So it's not impossible. But it has one mana. We have Walking Sands. We have Unlicensed Innovation. This Walking Sand is a 7 4. The Unlicensed Innovation is like a. What? A 7 7? And we have Cloud Preacher to win the game. Yeah! <laughs> we just have a lot more tools to remove their champions than they do to do ours. So. And, and, and the back alley bar keeps just completely carry, so GG's. In this match, we're going into the mirror. What are the chances? So, Seraphine, Victor versus Seraphine, Victor, mirror. We got a Victor. I want to see if I can get, like, Vengeance. There we go. Right? So, I definitely want to keep Victor, but I wanted to see if I could get Vengeance. I don't think the, a I don't think the uh, fan club precedent was going to be enough. We get her back anyways, so that's okay. Acorn is nice. Can get this Vengeance down to 5. Which is always a great thing. At the very least, it's gonna force. Okay, well, I don't want the opponent's penguins to go down to five. So we're trading. Don't want the opponent's penguins to go down to five, so we're trading. <laughs> Quietus is really good for Seraphine. Wow. Wait, that's so good against Seraphine. Ah! So we have a way to kill Seraphine for one mana. Which is nice because Seraphine costs two, so we're not trading like a vengeance for it. I think I'm willing to pass. Let the opponent commit their vengeance on our victor here. We have a second victor. Don't think shadow, cool. Yeah, because we play the second we can also kill Victor with the Quietus instead of Seraphine, but I think it's actually better to use on the Seraphine. Ooh, I'm gonna play the second one. If you have it, you have it. If you have a thermal, you have it. I'm gonna force you to have something to deal with this. Yeah. Because there's no way I'm letting you just get away with stuff. Let's play this. I like doing the Troll of Evidence now so to be mana efficient. Right? Patch Horror, that's cool. Gets, it gets faded. Putting easily has an a putting easily has the answer here, right? Like there's no way they don't. So I have to try to see if I can hit the spell shield. Faded. Not a deal. Not ideal. Oh, opponent gets their own big thing. I like the benches on their big thing. I like the Benjus on the Victor and save the Quietus for Seraphine. Because this is trading, you know, 6 for 4. It's not horrible. I guess we could have gone for the Flash of Brilliance first. I don't think it's necessary. Or it could potentially give us an out. What did, what did you get from Precedent? Whoa, Minion? I think I'm willing to attack here, right? Because we have the Fury proc. I guess opponent just plays the minion right back. I guess opponent just plays the minion right back. So there's no reason for me to take damage because opponent just blocks with the minion and brings it right back into the game. I feel like precedent is probably what we need to go for this turn. Just so that we have like uh, something that the opponent has, to, like the opponent won't know what to play around. And we could potentially get something here that could be very beneficial for our victor. Bar is kind of unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. The bar is really unfortunate. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Taking a lot of damage. Because I cannot block with this Victor, otherwise we lose to like a... Uh... I guess we can always battle piece. Take two less damage and also heal one. I have to be scared that the opponent has removal for this victor. So I don't think it's correct. Let's go precedent. This is a great. This is also really good. These are both really, really good. 
because we can potentially set up a lethal. The gift, the, the gift of the half blood is kind of interesting because it gives me the draw. I'm actually not gonna commit for the lethal. I'm gonna commit for the gift of the half blood. Let's go here. Let's save this for when we have Seraphine. So now the good thing here is that our Seraphine plays around Aquatus. So we can play around Aquatus because our Seraphine is going to be able to 3 attack when we summon her leveled up. I, that, I like that. We can uh, we could have actually killed this, huh? It's probably correct for us to destroy the back alley bar. It's probably correct for us to destroy that. We're letting the opponent get value from having that in the field. So, let's play Seraphine. Um, right? I need you this. Um, okay, bye. Let's play this Seraphine. This is cute. Hey, come back. If the opponent goes for like a Quietus, they get punished. My aftershocks are gonna cost two because Victor's gonna be leveled up. So we will be able to play both aftershocks. Apprehend. Okay. Let's give this region. Let's give this region one less keyword that we have to worry about getting later. We're gonna get double the aftershock here. I hear you, Zon. Now you're about to hear me. And they're both gonna cost two because Victor is leveled up. So it lets me kill the back alley bars. One at a time. I guess if opponent kills Victor here, if they have a vengeance, then we don't kill the second back alley bar. So if they do have a vengeance here, we don't kill it. That would be a little bit unfortunate. Well, hi no. Wait, that's that 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 does Okay, opponent's trying to kill Seraphim, right? When he's trying to kill Seraphine here. Yep, there's the Aftershock. Kills the Seraphine. We kill the second back alley bar. Opponent doesn't have any more discounted cards. We still have a Victor. That's really huge. And we just need to get certain keywords and we should be chilling. We just need to get a couple more keywords on this Victor like Spell Shield for me to feel comfortable going for like Lethal. That's not a bad Seraphine. That's not a bad Seraphine. Haha! <laughs> we also forgot to go for Flash of Brilliance earlier, by the way. The time of machines is now. Let's go here first. What if it's atrocity? What if it's actually atrocity? This victor is big enough that atrocity can just finish the game. Let's go here. Um, Heaven flow. Okay, it's this not a bad one. This is cute. We can also we also got quite just that big there. Maybe that was correct. We got quite just that big there. And maybe that was correct, but the opponent has a lot of creative cards, so they could potentially punish that quite. I think quite is still better off than Seraphine. The like then we go like this. Come on, let me get the spell shield. Fearsome? Not what we're looking for. What if we ebb and flow? Let's go flash of brilliance. Oh, -ho! we hit the, we hit the big there. We can play this twice. And just get a ton of value here. Another brilliant 
Do a second M flow. Do it here, right? Potentially hit Victor. Oh no, we hit the Nexus. Okay, not a Victor. The Nexus is still fine though. And we chill. And we attack with this Victor, and whatever the opponent does to react to it, we just win the game. Because we have atrocity. This Victor has overwhelm. Freeze! Okay, two mana harsh wins. That's that's a nice way to do it. Opponent has Quietus then, right? So opponent's gonna have Quietus here. And if they have Quietus. Oh wait. Oh no, they still have Quietus mana. They still have one mana for Quietus. That's the harsh wins is a good that's such a good one from the fan club president, huh? That's such a good draw from the fan club president. I guess I should have started with my head score upgrade. Potentially hit the life, the, the spell shield. We have one, two, three, four. We have five keywords. Yeah, we had a good chance of hitting the spell shield. Tony's digging. We can kill this Victor with the high note. So I'm not too scared of the Victor. Has two more spells that are two costs. That are zero costs, sorry. Curse of the Tomb. Okay, so yeah, we got High Note. I guess we can lose Mystic. When he's gonna Curse of the Tomb and try to uh, heal this unit. So we're gonna have to High Note. No. That makes it even easier for me. I was always gonna hide though. I, I was always gonna High Note this Victor. Huh? I was always gonna High Note that Victor. We even get to push two damage now. Yes, cool. Of course. So I, I'm, I'm doing the two on the Victor just in case the opponent has like a random troll or anything. I guess he also needs to kill it. Yeah, let's just kill this Victor. I need to be able to kill this Victor. And, and I mean, I, I need to force the opponent. Opponent only has enough mana for one Quackers, right? So I need to force the opponent to either do it on Seraphine or do it on the Victor, but not good. I guess we can actually save the Victor with Atrocity. Okay, well. And now this Victor is back to Life Steel now. Okay. Still no Spell Shield. Still no Spell Shield, and we kind of low on resources. I guess. Okay, never mind. We have the drum solo. So the drum solo gives us a few outs that we wouldn't have had otherwise. Opponent gets their own drum solo. Dogo. Let's go here first. See what we draw. Oh, that's huge. Let's start here first, and then we play the back alley bar. That's actually so good, right? <laughs> this is costing four. Oh, we got the spell shield, finally. So we got the spell shield, which means that we can just win with atrocity. Is there anything here that stops this atrocity? Why do we play it safe? Why do we play it safe? We play it safe here, have the spell shield on my open. That way we can just attack like this. Because when it has to spend two cards to beat this. And then we atrocity and in response. I think I'm, I think I like setting the attack first. Okay. All right. Boom. That's a 30, 30 damage Victor. I, I'm also gonna go if if if, so, if somehow the opponent kills this Victor, then I'm definitely going for progress day. Yep. Nice. <laughs> I could have done it last turn, but I wanted to be like absolutely safe. Maybe actually giving them more mana was a mistake. But I didn't know what they could have, right? 
So GG's. In this match, we're going up against Victor, Seraphine, and Yonia. I like the Pengens, I like the Seraphine, but maybe not this early. The Mystic doesn't seem that useful. The back alley barkeep is great. Pengens is good for Victor. Quietus is amazing. Quietus is amazing. Right? So, Quietus is probably one of the best spells that I could have drawn. Let's go Financier. I don't hate taking the second Pengens. Because I'm going to have to deal with like the nine, right? Kind of like make it messing me up. So having the second vengeance doesn't hurt whatsoever. Also, don't give the opening anything good to do here. Oh, they're actually playing assembly bot. Huh. Am I scared of that assembly bot? Ha! Huh. Am I scared of that assembly bot? I don't know if I am. Let's get moving. I want to play the back alley bar. So badly. I'm gonna just rip the vengeance on the on the on the victor right now, if I can. I don't I don't see a reason not to. Let's let's not even let him do the head score upgrade because that's just gonna be buffing the bot. Right? So if we let him do the head score upgrade, the opponent's not able to buff up the bot. At least this way he loses that spell. He plays Seraphine next turn, I guess. Or we can play Resident. Or we can just play Big Big. That also works. <laughs> that also works a lot. So we can play Big Big here. Yeah, let's take, let's take their stuff. So we get to play Big Big here. And then have access to quite to steal if the opponent plays Seraphine. When it could have a thermal to kill this victor, I, I guess. Um, now we're gonna have to play the unspeakable horror. I cannot let the opponent draw. I don't think I, I don't think I let the opponent draw. Right? And the, the way for them to save this taps them. Ooh, that's a lot of elusives. That's a lot of elusives. That's gonna be a lot of elusive damage. So I need to be a little bit careful about that. I think we go for it. I think we go for this. Unspeakable Horror, I don't like the opponent drawing. I don't mind if they commit a twin here. Momentous choice, that's okay too. So they're gonna get to draw and get to buff up that guy. No, 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 not ideal, not ideal. Dubis is good though. Dubis lets me at least heal back up. We can go head to upgrade again. This will let me level up our Seraphine. So I think we're chilling. We have Quietus, we have a second Vengeance. Now we just need to get elusive from the victor and we're okay. Let's go here. Camphor? Not great. Not great. I wonder if I should just go ahead and just uh, kill this bot. It's risky, right? It's risky because the point is that you could have enough spells. So I don't think it's actually correct. Only okay, we still go for the show. Seraphine. There we go. Boom. We, we were saving that for Seraphine and we got it. We can play our own Seraphine and level it up. We have blockers. This We don't have blockers for this, unfortunately. We can play Balfies. So we can play Balfies and still have access for Vengeance. And our Seraphine is going to be leveled up. He missed Allegiance. Wow. Opponent actually missed the allegiance. No, that feels so bad. They wanted to put the allegiance on the assembly. I mean, the elusive on the assembly, but oh, that feels so bad. That actually feels bad. Huh. I'm definitely gonna battle with this disciple. Let's go here. And then we play Seraphine, and we can level her up with the Sun Spinner. And then start duplicating everything. I guess she doesn't level up just yet, but because we, we don't have enough mana. Oh, Swindle? We can Doom Beast and then Swindle. Right, we can Doom Beast here and then Swindle, since this is going to cost zero. 
What if we make swing? What if we actually win to? What if we actually win to? We do the splattering song before we swindle. That way we take two of their cards instead of just one. So we can go like this and then play Song Spinner, right? And we can duplicate every spell from there. Quick Attack and Overwhelm. Oh, I'm chilling. This this victory is going to be huge. So this victory is going to be huge. Opponent hit an Ionian card because they missed the Allegiance on the Scavenger. Seraphine levels up with the Sun Spinner. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna press OK here. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. Electro Harpoon. Not bad. Let's just kill a unit. Absolver. Really, really good. Let's just get overwhelmed. And uh careful prep. And it lets me make my hand a little bit nicer if I wanted to. We can also go shield ball instead. I like the careful prep. I like the careful prep so that we just get a ton of value. We go Harpoon here. We get rid of the Canfo because why not? This kills the Elusive. Victor levels up. So just trying to kill this Elusive at this point. This is also dealing 4 to the opponent's Nexus. They, they have to deal with Victor. We have the high note, which is able to kill a lot of their units as well. And then we have Absorber too, which is cost zero. Uh, actually, wait, we're going to have double the Absorbers actually because of Seraphine. So Bunny has to try to kill this Victor, and I don't think that's going to be enough. Maybe it is. Maybe we swindle now. Could it just be Flow? Let's me heal twice. The Telstone gives me the health pad though, which is not bad either. But this gives me Ebb and Flow, which is kind of cool. The Meditation for later, because we're going to be drawing a lot. So we get to heal Victor and then also have the Ebb and Flow. To be able to kill whatever unit the opponent gets. Let's let's just start here first. See what the opponent does. Yeah, cool. Cause I wanna I wanna just actually heal my Victor with the Evan Flow. Could potentially hit the Seraphine. Or we can just go like this. Why don't we just go here first? Let's go here first and see who we hit. If we hit the Seraphine, we're fine. Uh, we also shouldn't have gone after that one because opponent has the flow. Remember, Absorber costs zero. Because the, the second part of Absorber is going to get discounted by Victor and the back alley bar keep. As long as we keep our Victor alive. And we also get double the Absorbers here. Opponent gets to level up the Seraphine. So now we have to rely on hitting our Evan Flow. Uh, let's see it. This is nuts. Like this value with both champions leveled up. It's kind of nasty. The second one is going to cost me one though. Which kind of sucks. But that's okay. Oh, they all hitting the Nexus. They all hit the Nexus. <laughs> they all hit the Nexus. So ponies down to four HP. So Absorber just wins the game then. Only one copy that of Absorber return is gonna cost one, but we're gonna get two copies of it because we're gonna go double Absorber. Yeah, this is game. Pony doesn't have any way to. I guess the opponent can go for the Ever Flow. And try to kill my victor. I try to kill a unit that way. We attack with everything because we have Absolver. And this should be it. 
don't think there's anything that can have here that can kill this. That can kill us. Can't get through this way. Okay, and then we just go here. And look at that, we get two Absolus returns. Either way, we pretend lethal and GG's. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like when you get both champions, this game just gets out of control so, so easily. So I'm sorry, opponent, for GG's. And I think that's the game that took me to Plat 1. Let's see it. Yes, it is. There we go. Plat 1 with Shadow Owl, Seraphim, Victor. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hope you enjoyed those games. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about. All the Seraphim mirrors were really annoying. But I think our deck actually has an advantage because of Quietus and Vengeance, right? And even Aftershock, being able to get rid of their back alley bars puts it on a really good edge as well. Uh, definitely Seraphim is really vulnerable to Quieto, so I'm glad that this card exists, because otherwise I think Seraphim will be even stronger than she is right now. Um, what else can I say about this deck? I mean, you saw us. Like, sometimes you just high roll. Like, I can't believe I got the mini morph against the leasing deck uh, game. Like, I got super lucky. I got super, super lucky, but there's also a few things that I probably could have done better that game, so that I wouldn't have to rely on being lucky. So, you know, mid to mid to that. In terms of Mulligan, I like keeping Victor. I don't like keeping Seraphine that much because she's only good when she's leveled up. So I'd rather go for the Victor. Uh, Acorn is nice, especially if we have a Vengeance. And then the rest of the cards is going to be matched at the point, right? Like I, I will keep Quatus if I'm going against another Seraphine deck. Same thing with the Telstone so that I can trigger the Back Alley Bar. If I'm going against a really slow deck and I don't need blockers early, I don't mind keeping one Back Alley Bar just so that we can get that value later on. And I like keeping Vengeance if there's like a certain unit that I really need to kill, like as we saw in that Kais again. Uh, actually, Kais again didn't make it through because the opponent gave up really easy. So <laughs> Vengeance is really good as you saw in the Lee Sin deck, in the Lee Sin matches. But anyways, enough about that. If you like the content and our video, please make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post a lot of videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch, Twitch is a term where we stream two, three times a week and you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.